Hey, this is Kim Offord, author, art collector, and realtor. And today is another real estate ride along. And I wanted to, you know, as I ride, as I drive, which I'm uh, doing a lot of, I always like to share my thoughts on things that um, can help someone, just in hopes that I can help someone um, along the way in terms of their um, real estate, um, in terms of, you know, preserving their generational wealth or preserving their investments in, firm, in form of real estate. So the thought for today, <clears throat> excuse me, the thought for today is this. Never sign away your rights without consulting an attorney before doing so. I'm going to repeat that. I don't care what it is. Never sign away your rights without consulting an attorney before doing so, not unless you fully understand the implications of signing over your rights as it pertains to real estate and your property. Um, be very careful with that. What do I mean by that? So we all, I think we all are familiar with the term power of attorney. So there are several different types of power of attorneys. Um, it, you can have a power of attorney over your medical decisions. You can have power of attorney over um, financial decisions. Um, you can have temporary power of attorneys. There are certain power of attorneys that only cover certain um, events. Like for instance, um, when there is a closing and you're the seller and you don't wanna go to the closing, you'll give your attorney, <clears throat> you well, you can sign off on all the documents you need to sign off on, but let, let's say the day of the closing, something comes up. You can give your attorney, you know, temporary power of attorney to sign on your behalf. And it only covers that closing. They can't go and, you know, have power of attorney over your health and everything else. It's just that one incident or that one event. I'm not an attorney, let me say that, but I do know that. The reason why I'm having this thought today is because I encountered someone who was having some difficulty with their property, potentially going into foreclosure, um, a company who will remain nameless, I will not exposed this company, reached out to this person and uh, basically told, you know, said that they would help them either sell the property or they would find an investor to buy the property. Um, what they were doing, they were wholesaling. Now, let me just say this. I am not saying, I am not saying that all people or all um, real estate pe professionals or people who wholesale are bad. That is not what I'm saying. But just like every other profession, there are bad apples in the bunch. Okay? Now, this person um, did, did some business with this company and it didn't turn out the way that he thought it was going to turn out. He's a senior. I think there was some level of taking advantage of his desperation, um, some level of not consulting or giving him the full story or the full picture. Bottom line, house went on the market. It didn't sell. They canceled the contract and now um, he's kind of out there. Um, and the property is potentially going into foreclosure. This was not my client. So, you know, let me just say that. Here's the problem. The problem is that he, I don't know if he knew or not. I don't know if, you know, what type of consultation he received, but he signed 
signed over his rights in the contract you know that 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 they gave him they gave him a contract that you know would list the property but they also gave him another contract that signed where he was signing over his rights to allow them to make decisions and sign documents with regard to his property um, on his behalf. Bad decision, okay? Bad decision. But I am saying this to you, to those of you who are watching right now, those of you who have parents or grandparents who are homeowners and you know they're independent and taking care of their own business you still need to have to play an, a role in their decision making um, as much as they may resist because they're independent you still need to play a part because there are people out here who are giving documents to people that they wouldn't give their own relatives to sign. All right? And I'm telling you, not just seniors, but all of us. If somebody comes to you and they say, hey, we want to sell your property. We're not charging you anything. No, you know, you don't have to pay for closing costs. You don't pay any realtors fees. You don't pay any of this, any of that. We just want to sell your property. You sign off on the contract. They're probably going to wholesale your property, which means that they're going to market your property to another investor while they have your property um, in waiting or on the market. Um, and they'll probably make a profit off of that but the benefit they it's pitched that the benefit to you is that you don't have to make any repairs you don't have to do you don't have to pay any um closing costs you don't have to pay any fees no attorney's fees you know it's attractive because you walk away with more money but they're walking away with money too and i will say check with those who approach you about those types of deals you can only do one wholesale deal in the state of Illinois if you are not a licensed realtor in the state of Illinois. So many times there are some licensees involved in the transaction and that's fine. If you find a wholesale deal that works for you, fine. Wholesalers, if you're out here, you're doing legitimate business, great, have at it. But for those who are not, you need to stop. And I'm just telling you all now, make sure that you are educated and well advised on any decisions that you make about your property. All right? Get legal consultation. That's all I'm going to say. All right. Well, that's it. That's my thought for now. I'm Kim Offord, um, realtor, art collector, and author, and a full-time entrepreneur. Y'all take care. Bye.